Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mono Mangi. Today I want to talk about long distance trips. More than that though, car trips versus motorcycle trips or bike trips. Because recently I had a bit of a change of heart on the whole car trips versus bike trips point of view. First, let me give you a bit of background leading up to it, I guess. My whole life, I've pretty much, well, let me say it this way. I'm over 50 years old now in my, in my early 50s. And I've been on lots of multi-day long distance trips. I've been coast to coast several times across the United States. Been up and down the East Coast many times from Pennsylvania down to Spooky Mountains, back and forth. Uh, from PA down to Florida. I've been from, you know, PA up to the New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine area. Many, many, many times. I've been out to the Midwest, Colorado, uh, South Dakota, Sturgis area, many, many times. I've been on lots of long distance trips, multi-day trips, overnight trips, and the majority of those have been on motorcycles. I could probably count the number of multi-day trips I've done in a car on one hand in my whole lifetime. And I know that's unusual because the majority of motorcycle riders or motorcycle owners in, in the United States especially, they ride less than 3,000 miles per year. And I think I read a statistic a while ago that said something like, you know, oh, that majority, like, like half, like 50% of motorcycle owners ride less than 1,000 miles per year or around 1,000 miles per year. So now that average of 3,000 miles per year for motorcycle owners, that gets skewed upward from 1,000 because the top 5, 10% of riders ride a lot more than 3,000 miles per year. Like they'll ride you know, 5,000, 10,000, 12,000 or more even. So there are motorcycle owners who ride a lot of miles and they skew the average upwards to around 3,000. But over half of motorcycle owners ride 1,000 miles or so per year or less even. So not many motorcycle owners in the world, especially the United States, go on long distance trips. They're mostly riding local to their home or in their state or that kind of thing. But I've been the exception. I've been the opposite. My whole life, I've mostly gone long distance trips on motorcycles. In fact, until recently, the furthest west I'd driven a car ever was Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. <laughs> it's also the furthest south I've driven a car, south and, and west, from Pennsylvania anyway. For me, the idea of driving a car long distance doesn't seem, never seem very appealing. Like, if I was gonna go for a long trip somewhere, I wanna go on the motorcycle because I like riding a motorcycle. I like riding bikes long distance. The only time I was in a car long distance was if I was going like, you know, during the winter or something or during bad weather or something like that. I simply preferred to ride long distance trips on a motorcycle. Now, the few car trips I have done on multi-day trips long distance was usually with deer. Either we were camping or we were going somewhere in the winter and yeah, we went down to Smoky Mountains last January in my Tesla and that was a couple days trip, a uh, 2,000 mile trip, round trip. We've gone up to Quebec, Canada and stuff, but that was, we drove that in one day, stay overnight and camped, but, but those are very few. I mean, I could probably count them all on one hand my whole life. My opinion on that may be changing though a little bit because Recently, a month ago, last month, in September, my brother and I went out to Colorado, Silverson, Colorado, from Pennsylvania, and we drove out there. Now, this is the first car trip my brother and I had ever been on in our lives. We have always ridden our motorcycles on long distance trips together. We've never driven, like, on a multi-day trip anywhere in a car to, on, together the two of us but on this trip we had to drive because my brother was taking his side by side out to Silverton Colorado his Polaris Razor and he trailers that in a trailer behind his pickup truck so he couldn't ride a motorcycle he had to drive his truck out we stayed two weeks in Silverton Colorado camping and riding his Polaris Razor all over the trails back between the Silverton and Lake City area and up there uh Montrose, that stuff. So he drove his truck and trailer and I followed him out there in my Tesla Model Y. 
Now I could have rode with my brother in his truck, but I chose to drive my own car for two reasons. One, I just wanted to take my chest on a long distance trip. <laughs> I just wanted to do it really for the fun of it. But two, also, I was going to camp and sleep in my car overnight instead of taking a tent and that kind of thing. I just car camp. And I car camped, oh, we car camped the whole way out there across, all across from, from, from PA to Colorado. It's like 2,000 miles just out to Silverton. And we stay at truck stops every night on the way out. And then we camped at the Crant Ground in Silverton for a week and a half. And then on the way home, we car camped at truck stops again. So he has his trailer all decked out. The trailer he toes his side by side with is an enclosed trailer. But it's really a camper trailer because he has it all decked out with like a, a bed he, he puts up over top of his, his buggy and then he has a sink and a toaster and a little cook stove and a countertops and all cut and cabinets to store food and stuff so he has it really decked out pretty nice yeah it was the first time my brother and i had ever gone on a long distance trip in in cars and not not on bikes so that was different <laughs> but honestly we kind of enjoyed it there are some bonuses to traveling long distance in a car. Well, you don't care about the weather. We had some, uh, a whole day of rain on the way out. And it was nice to be in the car and truck during that monsoon we drove through because we dry, you know, I'm traveling in my shorts and flip-flops with a center console full of snacks next to me. <laughs> a thermos with, like, you know, with water and everything. Yeah, it was really nice. It was comfortable. We could put on a lot of miles that way traveling in the cars. If we had been on the bikes that one day in the, the heavy rain, we would have had to stop a few times on the bikes because it was so it was raining so heavy that the cars is okay. You're protected. You can see bit easier. On a motorcycle, you're more exposed and you get water running down your helmet and stuff and something like that. Sometimes you just got to pull over and wait it out. But that was literally the longest trip I've ever taken out of a car ever in my whole life it was 4400 miles round trip and i had a blast <laughs> i really did now we've done that same trip on the motorcycles before we rode out to silverton well colorado in general we a few years ago we, we rode our bikes out to colorado to rule around colorado and down through silverton down to durango and across the bottom of colorado i'd love to go to colorado on the, on the goal here and do some road spotlights for like a whole week just film some roads out there because there are some awesome roads in Colorado. I love this state. Colorado is one of my favorite states in the whole United States to be honest. I have to think of definitely top three. Might be number one but I'm not sure but definitely top three. So we've done that same trip on the motorcycles and this time we did it in the cars and the vehicles. My Tesla his pickup truck and it was neat to contrast the two trips side by side. You know doing that same trip Basically, to get out there from Pennsylvania, you just travel west across Pennsylvania, hop on 70, and take 70 all the way to Colorado, and that's it. It's pretty much one road in Colorado from Pennsylvania. <laughs> but you're on that road for two and a half days, you know, so it's a long trip. And then once we got into Colorado, we, we turned south at Lyman, Colorado, and down towards Colorado Springs, and then cut across 50 towards Montrose, and then head down south to Silverton and then we were there and we've done that same trip in the motorcycles a couple years ago and now we did it in the cars and yeah I really enjoyed it in the car to be honest <laughs> now part of that is because you know I have a Tesla Model Y so Tesla's make great road trippers they just do they're fantastic long distance vehicles now which trip did I enjoy more Riding out there with the motorcycles or riding out there in the car? You know, if someone had asked me that a year ago, I would have said about the motorcycle, hands down. I would have said the motorcycle is the best thing to go long distance on. I love riding long distance on motorcycles. I never take a car on a trip like that. Why would anyone take a car on a long trip when they have a, a bike to ride instead? That would have been my answer a year ago, but now after having done it, Yeah, I'm a little more torn on it, I think. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to stop riding my bike long distance. That's not going to happen. I like, you know, I love riding motorcycles cross country. I love riding them 
on multi-day trips. I love riding motorcycle. I'm not selling the bike. I'm not gonna stop riding it long distance. So that's not happening. But I might start taking more long distance trips in a car as well, in my Tesla Model Y. Cause I really did enjoy it. Now, before, in my, whenever I've gone long distance, so in the few times I have, uh, Deer and I went in our, in our cross track on two long trips, two multi-day long distance trips. I've had a Subaru Forester before the cross track. I took that. Well, I took them on all day trips, but not really multi-day trips, not really. Back in the 90s when I had my Camaro Z28, I had a 94 Camaro Z28. I took that across top of Pennsylvania over into Ohio for two or three days. I think it was three days. Rode, drove across Route 6 out towards Erie and stayed there for a night, then drove down some of Ohio, down the Triple Nickel, some nice roads down southeast Ohio, then came back across Pennsylvania. So, but I always have preferred riding the motorcycle long distance compared to a car. Until now. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say I prefer my Tesla over the motorcycle long distance, but I really enjoy both of them. The Tesla makes long distance traveling just so much, just so nice. So easy, so convenient, so comfortable. I love the big screen in the center of the dash with the navigation, the map, and it just makes traveling so easy and just fun. The awesome sound system and everything. I mean, I could go on for hours about you know, raving about my Tesla, but that's not the point of the video. The point is my inclinations, my preferences towards vehicle for long distance travel is changing, I guess, a little bit. And maybe that's just because I'm getting older. Maybe as I get older, I'll start doing more long distance car trips and fewer long distance bike trips or start choosing the bike over the car once in a while. Maybe. Maybe just because I'm getting older. Maybe, you know, when I was younger, maybe it was just easier to go long distance on a bike. Now, I mean, I'm on a gold wing, so this is, you know, a wonderful long distance motorcycle. <laughs> One of the best on the market you can buy today for long distance riding. I mean, who wouldn't love this? <laughs> Never gets old, but there is something to be said for uh, spending a week traveling on the road in your shorts and flip-flops eating snacks comfortable warm and dry <laughs> there's some positives to doing that there is so maybe the fact that i've taken most long distance trips in my lifetime on a motorcycle rather than a car maybe it just means i'm weird maybe that's odd i mean i am odd of course i am weird but maybe that's unusual <laughs> and maybe as i skew more towards the car or more of a balance between the car and the bike for long distance trips maybe i'm just becoming a little more normal i guess I don't know. Either way, I've really been thinking the past couple days about the comparison between the bike and the car for that, that same trip. And it's been an interesting thought exercise. I've been surprised at how much I enjoy taking the car across America. But I do know one thing, for next year for Moto Mangi, I want to do more long distance filming trips on the Goldwing here. So, so I'm still going to ride the Goldwing long distance. That's not stopping. But at the same time, I will start spending more time in the car when I'm going long distance too. I'm gonna have more of a mix, I guess. I don't know. This probably came off as a rambling video to a degree. I'm just trying to vocalize some of my thoughts about car trips versus bike trips. So let me know in the comments down below how you feel about it. Do you prefer going long distance multi-day trips on the bike or in the car? And whichever one you choose, you know, tell me why. Or have you always gone long distance in the car or you know, the, you know, a four-wheel vehicle. Maybe you've always towed your motorcycle behind you in a trailer, and then when you get, you know, a couple states away or whatever, then you ride the bike around. I know lots of people do that. I've never owned a trailer, nor a vehicle really capable of towing a bike and trailer so much. I mean, my Tesla can do it, but I've never towed a motorcycle anywhere in my life. I've always ridden the bike where I was going. I've never owned a bike trailer. <laughs> Not even once. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments what how you feel about car trips versus bike trips. And which one do you prefer? Do you prefer taking the bike on multi-day long distance trips or the, the car instead? And why, you know? Well, this video is going too long. I'll have to edit some of this out because it's way too long. Thanks for watching everyone. 
ride safe, enjoy the weather while we have it, before winter comes, we'll see you next time. Where am I? Oh shit, I'm way out here. <laughs> Moment of silence while I figure out where I am. <laughs> yeah, I got turned around a bit a little bit. I came out there, didn't I? Yeah. I'll be darned. All right. Back on topic. <laughs>